Hello, my name is Asa, and today I will show you how to animate like Minitune or Tinus Flea in Roblox Studio. And in this video, we are going. I'm going to show you how to animate a Kraken. Okay, yes, the new skin from Piggy Book Two, Chapter Seven. Okay, how to animate this thing in Roblox Studio using a free model from the toolbox in Roblox. I'm going to fix this uh, rig. Okay, and I'm going to get it ready to be animated like a pro. So this is a, a little advanced video for animation in Roblox Studio. So if you are not very familiar with animation in Roblox Studio, I recommend you watch my other videos about rigging and animated in a Roblox Studio. Okay, so um, also I will share this model with you. Okay, if we can get to 500 likes in this video. If not, well, that's okay. You can use the one that it's in the toolbox and do the steps that I uh, did in this video in order to animate this thing. Check, we have the idol animation, pretty awesome. Check the tentacles. We have the jumping animation and we have the walking that it's quite, quite awesome. Quite awesome, check this tentacle, check this tentacle. Uh, this is really fun. Well, this is going to be a very long tutorial. My name is Asa, and I will see you in the tutorial. Please, like the video. So, to do that, we are going to enable Toolbox, and then we are going to look for Kraken, and then we are going to find something that it's not, like, very bad, okay? So, there are some that are pretty funny. We have here Kraken, New Piggy. We can check this one, but I don't like this one. I guess that I saw one that it was pretty... Cool, that it's this one. Okay, well, we have the skin. Okay, pretty, pretty cool. I'm not sure if this is the same, okay, from the maker. But, well, we need to check the rig, and we need to fix the rig, and then we are going to try to animate this awesome skin made by Tinus Flea, okay, for PE, chapter 7. Okay, well, we are going to start like this. We select the model, and then we are going to need some plugins. The plugin that we're going to need is Rigedit or Rigedit uh, Lite, that it's free, but I highly recommend Rigedit Pro, okay? It is not very expensive in Robux, okay? And you can get uh, a lot of uh, things improved in this version, okay? The Pro version is better, way better than the normal one. Well, anyway, you can use any thing you like to do to fix the rig. Okay, well, let's check the rig first. Okay, so select the rig, and then we're going to go to the animation editor, and then we're going to check this model. Okay, so, well, we have here some parts. We're going to check if this is properly rig. Uh, well, this is the humanoid, I guess. The arms are okay. This is okay, so... And this is the torso. Let me check all the pieces we have at all. So, cracking the torso, it's moving everything. Cracking head. Okay, we have the cracking head. Uh, why? We're going to fix some things. Okay, so well, this is a very nice tutorial about how to fix your skins you find in the toolbox also. Okay, not only for cracking. Then, well, we check here the tentacles. We just have one that it's like this. So we can fix these things, but it's just a model. I guess it's just a model. Huh. Well, anyway, let's check the model. Let's go out from animation. So we have here leg, leg, and this leg, it has this, this, this. Ah, it has many parts, I guess. So, well, probably we need to fix some names in this thing. For example, we have this leg. The first thing is to fix some of the names, because if we want to animate them, we need to do it. Okay, then we have this one, that it's leg, do, leg 2, leg 3. Uh, let's call it leg 4, leg 4. And this is going to be leg 5. This is inside this leg. I don't know. I don't like this thing. So probably we have this cracking. Probably it's going to work. 
fraud. It's gonna work this thing. Okay. So, but okay, let's try. I am thinking about the way to, in, well, not improve because this is very well done, but uh, how to make it for animation? This thing. So probably we can destroy all the rig that we have here and just use the parts probably we can do that uh, cracking head uh -huh. and then I guess we need another part torso it's going to control this thing going up and down but it's going to move everything well let's try it with this okay guys the only thing that I recommend is that you add here in these legs, uh, leg 3, leg 4, leg 5. So for example, this is leg 4, leg 4, inside the other leg, and leg, I don't know if it's, because sometimes when you try to animate it, it check that you have the same names of these things. Again, let's call this one leg back, because this is a left left back and this is right left back and this is a left left front so this is going to be a very long tutorial you know the five well i hope now leg four then we go here i'm just changing the names okay so this is right left f front and then we have leg 11 come on leg one i hope this is leg one leg two leg three leg four and leg five and then we have here some welding I guess that's pretty cool but we can delete this uh, thing okay we're going to go for these ones uh, and rename this well it, it doesn't matter a lot I guess so I hope the names are not getting getting us problems so we are going to remove this from all the legs and then we are going to add this thing and then we're going to remove this thing from the four legs so we have removed everything from these legs okay and then we're going to check well the head I guess with the head we don't have any problem so far okay then we're going to go to rig edit so now here is the the, the, the rig that looks quite normal uh, let's see the head. The head, it's okay now. The problem with the head is that the head is too big. So, well, uh, anyway, let's move it a little bit. Oh, not that. Point zero 0.01. This is to move these handles, okay, smoothly. Okay, well, we have this. The arms are okay. I don't have any problem. But now, the important part of this thing is this uh, tentacles or things. So we're going to connect them, okay? So first we're going to connect this torso to one of these ones, okay? I guess that's the best solution because if not, we probably we need another part. What is this? Left, left. Right, left. Oh, they are using from a normal rig and they just make them invisible. Well, that's okay. We are going to forget about these parts, okay? But these ones are the important. Now, if we want to move this guy up and to keep these things a little bit independent, I mean the torso from the legs, we need to create another part. So before we continue with rigging, we're going to create a part. We are going to go here. I'm sorry if this is very fast for you or you don't understand a lot about this thing. Okay, but uh, you can go to my previous tutorials about rigging, okay, and I have some of them that are a, a little bit more basic. So, well, here we are going to create a lower torso. Well, I created a part inside this Kraken thing. 
that it's another name I heard, but well, anyway, everybody knows them, uh, knows him as a Kraken, because uh, I guess Tinus Flea, that was Tinus Flea's original name. Okay, well, I guess the skin is pretty cool. I don't see this thing shining at night, in the night. Okay, that's it. So this is a lower torso, so we are going to move it here. Here, this is the lower torso, and it's going to be invisible. So we are going to set the transparency to zero, and we are going to connect this. This is going to be the main part, right? Okay, so now we're going to go again, select the model. Let me delete this thing. Okay, we select the Kraken. Now we go to rig edit. Now we are going to connect some of the things. Okay, we're going to check first the torso. The torso, I guess it is local left hip. Uh, it has some connections. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But I guess we need to check what is the humanoid root part. Humanoid root part, ah, it's going to the this one we are going to delete this from the human root bar because now human root bar is going to be connected to lower torso we press here human root bar and then with control we look for lower torso that we just created and then we just create join and that's it so this is the main part now when, when whenever we move the lower torso <clears throat> everything is going to move okay so that's the idea now, the torso, now the upper torso, it is now independent, okay? So if we move this thing, we can flip or turn to left or right, and the legs are not going to be moving. So, well, that's the idea. That's the explanation why I did that. Now, okay, we need to connect the lower torso to the legs, okay? So we are going to go, and we are going to connect. That's why it's important to have this Rickety Pro, because it's better. So well now I selected this as part zero, my lower torso, and then this one. This is my part one. I'm going to create a joint, okay? So and then we look for, we try to place it there. Here, I guess that's more or less in the center. It's going to be hard because these shapes are not like well anyway. Now, this part, the first part, the first part of the tentacle, it's going to be connected with this one. We create a joint. We drag it over here. We check that it's more or less centered here in the union. And then we're going to go here. Then we're going to connect this one to this one. A joint. So it's going to be harder to animate this thing. Yes, it's going to be harder because it's going to be this test. Has, it's going to have these tentacles. Now, uh, this one, create joint, and that's it. Okay, I guess that's a pretty nice skin. Get pretty nice thing. That's, okay, we create now the final joint here. So this is going to move. And we need to do this with all the tentacles. Yeah, that's so funny. Now we are going to go here. We are going to connect here the lower torso with the first part of this tentacle. We create join, and then uh, ah, this needs to be near the origin of the part, not in the center. Okay, so you try to flip your thing here. Here, ah, that's okay. Now let me check the other one. I guess the other one is not in, in that posi position. Uh -huh. And I guess that's okay. Pretty cool. Yes, like that. Okay, almost in the origin of the heart. It's quite hard to see. Okay, I guess that's okay. Now we continue with this one. We select the first tentacle, we create joints joints because we are going to be moving okay so that's okay that's perfect now this one again so this is like connecting a tail in some of the characters that you can make okay so this is the way you make 
different parts of cylinders and then you connect one by one and then this is the other one then we're going to connect and we're going to try to animate something okay it's not perfect but we're going to try to animate something not as good as the original but well just to give you an idea about how to make these things i guess this is a pretty nice exercise for you if you're practicing or want to animate your own characters now we go to the back parts okay so we select first the lower torso and then this connection i mean this tentacle and then we just move move this thing we try to put it in the center because it's going to rotate remember that these are like elbows this kind of circles okay now we select this one with this one we create join we just move over here and that's it and then we go here to here create joints then we just check that it's more or less center that is that's okay then we just here create join and so far so good that's okay i don't know if i press this i was checking in the obs if i press record it sometimes i forget and then we just create another join i don't know if they are properly placed but anyway this is this is something fast well fast i mean you mean you know what i mean this is not really fast but okay we can start with this one okay we move it a little bit here i oh, know control z control z i guess this is not the one i wanted it's this one with the original with the first one not with the second one sorry it was a mistake so well one of the functions that you have in the pro version of Brigadit is that you have the undo thing or you control Z and you can undo things that's nice then you go here and then you just go here you create join again another join remember joints are movable parts then this one to this one create join here and then this one to this one, create join, a little bit backwards. And then finally we go to the last part and create join. Back and up, more or less, more or less. So we have this thing. Uh, about the legs and these things, I don't know why they keep these things, but anyway. Now we're going to check if the names are not causing problems, okay? But uh, also, I don't know if the head is animated. Uh, I mean, the mouth. So we have this mouth. I hope, yeah. Well, anyway, now we're going to go to the animation editor. Let's see if we have any problems. Yes, check. The rig contains multiple parts which share the same name. Please give unique names to all parts. Okay, studio animation clip editor rig edit multiple parts parents. Yes, uh, okay, well, we are going to fix these things, okay? Well, the first thing that we need to do is with the legs, okay? Also, here, let's check it. They have the spikes, uh, they have the same name, so let's see if this is not causing trouble. So that's why you need to have individual names for everything, okay? Well, so everything that it has to be animated, okay? For example, leg one. Let's say this one is in the back. So let's add something easy to this. Let's add a B. 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 Uh, and then let's add a B because it's in the back. Back, I mean. And then for this one that it's right leg, uh, this is also in the back part. This is going to be B, but at the end, okay? So that's the way to make it a little bit different. Yeah, that's a problem. I don't know if we need to make the rig again, but well. And I am thinking about the head. The head probably it's going to be problematic. Now for this one, we'll set the F in the first part. F, and it says something about parenting. So 
so probably that it's there are some things that we need to remove well anyway then we have left this one it's going to be f at the end f at the end f at the end f at the end and f at the end okay so that's the first part now let's see if this is not going to cause trouble hmm. well anyway again we select this one studio animation clip click errors multiple parents multiple parents in some parts there are multiple parents I guess the part that it can be maybe is the head cracking head head to cracking head come on two heads anyway oh, that's a problem so we didn't have any problem when we uh, when we tested before right so probably the problem is not in the head it's probably in the legs or something Let's check. Lower torso is connected. Ah, let's check if the torso. Yes, the torso is connected to these parts. So it, uh, this is not possible. The lower torso is the one that it has now the legs. Okay, so we are going to destroy everything from the legs. Legs, legs, legs. We remove these ones that were originally originally made, and then we just select this one. And yes, that was the mistake. Now we have this guy that it's a little bit uh, twisted. Okay, now let's check why. Because we need the lower torso. We are going to delete also the legs, right leg, the right arm, no, the right arm, no, left leg also. I don't know why they keep them invisible. Okay, left arm, left lower torso is connected to the legs. Okay, um, lower torso needs to be connected to the torso actually. Okay, so we're going to select again the model and then rig edit and then we are going to go to lower torso to torso and we are going to pay a join. Now we are going to move it a little bit down. I guess that's okay. And I hope that fixed some of the problems. Okay, we go to the animation. Yes, now it's centered this nice guy. Now we check the connections. The arms are quite okay. Uh, I don't know if this is the correct way to rotate. Let me check. We can move the connection a little bit. So we select this one. So we check this one uh, again. Uh, we go here, here. Let's go to the torso and let's check the shoulders. So a little bit up or down. I guess that's okay here and for the other shoulder we do the same I guess that's okay I don't know well maybe now we go to the animation almost the same now we check the head we can move the head yeah we can move the head okay head it's weird Check the head. The head is moving quite, quite strange. So let's check the head. Sorry. So the head is this one that it's connecting. I guess it's like the one that it's connecting this. And this is neck. So we're moving the neck or we're moving the head. Let's go to animation. Neck, neck. We don't have any neck. No, we don't have any neck. We have the head. So, and the head is this one. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be moving head. We have two connectors. I don't know why they have two connection. So we are going to use the head. And now we are going to use. We are not going to use cracking heads. Okay, cracking head. So well, okay, that shouldn't be like that. But well, we we can live with that. Okay, so well, we are ready to start like animating this thing. Uh, I was watching some videos and they have this animation. Okay, so well, the first thing that we are going to do 
it's stuff like making an idol animation i don't know if the idol animation of the character so i'm gonna watch it guys just give me a second okay it's just with this kind of pentacles so well let's flip some things okay so well we are going to start like rotating these things let's start with the initial position check if this is moving like this is because the rig is not very well done i mean i i didn't did may make it this very well done check i'm going to move this and i'm going to move this one just to check and this is better the other one is not now i'm going to rotate it this is yes this is good i'm going to check the first one okay so this is just adjusting this is okay so this is the one that it's just not very good okay so we go again to rig edit select the model rig edit and we check this joint okay the joint is this one left okay it has to be ah oh, well i guess this is the one let me check no this is not I guess this is the one lower torso left one yeah it's this one so let's move it to the origin more or less and now if we go to the animation it should be like quite fixed not perfect but better okay now uh, we are going to rotate more of them like this this is going to be like the starting position okay guys the initial position of the idol animation so we're going to keep them a little bit open okay now this is like the first part okay then we're going to check the arms yeah all the arms we're going to keep them a little bit down for the first one um, by the way, uh, the model, it was made by Doho Hai. Good job, Doho Hai. Nice model. Okay, well, now uh, I was checking this thing. Okay, we are going to flip this tentacle a little bit. And then we are going to start like moving these ones like this. Took, 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 took. Okay let's say if this is and then we can start like moving this down we can exaggerate this thing then this one up to make like a little curve i guess that's okay this one uh, that's like this just like this and this one up and this one down mm hmm and then we just move the main. This one is controlling all of them. Ah, that's okay. Use this to give the illusion that it's like a little bit twisted. Okay, again, we go with the first one up or down, down. And then we go to this one, and then we go to this one. And then you just go like this, and then you just go like this. <clears throat> then down. Make sure that it's touching the ground. Check the difference between these ones and the, the ones behind, okay? It looks better. We touch the first one. Sorry, guys, this is going to take too much. But, well. Here... Here, uh, here, and here. Point. Let me see. It's not touching. You just move the main one. Yeah, that's okay. Pretty cool. Now we just go here, up. <coughs> no, down. I mean. Then we go. Up, up, down. Uh, this guy here. Well, that was not perfect. But 
might work. So let's check the face if we can open the mouth. Yeah, we can open the mouth a little bit weird. It's not opening correctly. We can fix that. Okay, so if we go to the mouth, we select this, we select this. And now let's check where can we rotate this. I guess it's better to move it from here. Okay, also the upper part of the mouth. Then we just go here. And then we go to the animation. And that's better. Check. <clears throat> well, we have this first frame. Okay, this is the first frame. Uh, we can click on here and we add keyframe here just to have keyframes for all the parts. <clears throat> we add all the parts and then we add again, add keyframe here. Then we're going to control C, we're going to go to the last frame, 30, or we can change this to 60 frames per second. And then we're going to change this and we're going to paste control V. Now we go to 15. And we're going to create the other pose. So in this case, we're going to go a little bit up. So I'm going to select the lower torso that it's invisible, and I'm going to move it up. Uh, it's going to move everything. Now we're going to adjust everything. Okay. Also the 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 arms. Okay. If he's going up, well, I am thinking that the arms. We're going to move the arms. We press R. And we're going to, in the first frame, we're going to move them up a little bit. Up. And then we're going to duplicate again because we have made change to the first frame. Because this this is an idle animation, so it has to be looped. Okay. So now in the center, we're going to go here. Remember that we take this thing up. Now we are going to take the arms down a little bit. Down. And... Uh, the tentacles that we need to adjust the tentacles to touch the ground that will look very cool so we start like selecting first the main one and we are going to uh, if we are like uh, going up well the tentacle is going to be like this so let's adjust first these ones okay so let's take it down all of the first tentacles or parts or whatever you call these things, I, I don't know, like this. And now we need to adjust the second, the, the other ones, okay? So we can just, just move a little bit this one. For example, this one, it can be like down, and this one, it can be up, and this one can be up a little bit. I guess that's okay. Now, if we check this one, check. Check that this part stays in the same place, okay? I mean, not moving a lot, just to give this illusion, but check, looks pretty cool. And we have just moved one, right? Now we go to this guy, and now check. So we need to move it. This is a little bit down, and this is a little bit up. Up. Add. Okay, pretty nice. I like it. I like this idea. Now, we go here. Okay, so this guy, again, a little bit down, a little bit up, a little bit up, and a little bit up. Okay, check this one. This is moving a lot. So... First, the, the starting position, it was like quite floating. So we need to fix this one, okay, in the starting position. So we, I'm going to move this. And then remember, if you modify the first frame, copy again all the first frames and paste it in the last frame. Okay, now we go to the center and now it looks better because it was floating, okay. Well, now we go to the first frame just to check that this is in position. Well, it is quite but we need to move it a little bit here. I made changes in the first frame, so I copy and paste changes in the last frame. Okay, that's cool. Okay, now we go to the center and check what is the location. The location is here in this uh, square or this coordinate. 
So let's try to keep this thing in the same spot. So first we take it down and then we take it up and then we take it up and then we take it down very good more or less then we check if this looks okay yeah more or less more or less and then we, we move it a little bit more and yeah uh, to make it more natural now the last one and we are finishing just the idol animation that it was not that hard right so we check the first frame uh it's making contact yeah it's making contact and then we just go here and we go to the middle one and then you just take the second one also a little bit down just to exaggerate this thing and then i'm not going to change the third one and this one i guess that's okay let's see yeah that's perfect now uh, this is the arms check the arms the arms are okay probably the mouth it's closing more or opening more as you wish but well, let's close the mouth in the middle and now that's it but now we need to loop it we to loop it sounds like lupe name in spanish okay we click here we set this one set an animation priority to idle and that's it now we have this it's pretty fast right it looks like he wants to pee or something let's change this to 60 and let's change this to 60 here and to 30 and now it's better wow guys you're amazing you did it also you can move the head remember if the body is going up the head is going up probably no probably it's going a little bit down let me check if i am moving the correct one no i am moving the other one so let's look for the head head not the kraken's head so we just go here oh sorry and we just go down a little bit and that's it perfect we have here the idol animation of the kraken from piggy okay well not the same Okay, so I'm just trying to show you something. Okay, so well, you are ready to export this animation or to save it. You can save it, and it's going to save it here inside your model. Okay, so it's going to save it like this. Okay, you can save it with a name, and then you are going to use it. For example, uh, you can raise save as a new, and then you write the name. For example, idol. You say save, and then you have the idol over there, and then you can just export this, uh, save to Roblox. Or you can just go here, export, and you write cracking, whatever. And that's all. Crack and evil. And you write a description, and that's it. You, you have your animation. Now, what about if I want to make like the walking they have? Okay. So, well, the walking is quite hard because it's very jumpy and it looks pretty cool but if you if you watch the video watch the video it has like the first position is similar to the idol animation and then we have like the main position it's going up like I'm making like a T pose okay so well let's start making a new okay but check I'm going to use this 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 thing okay I'm going to use one of these ones so the, the one that is down so I'm going to delete these ones. Uh, select this one. Delete. Oh, it's not deleting. Sorry. Uh, some Roblox Studio is like, I don't know, acting weird some these days. Anyway, I have this one, but I don't want to change the evil. So uh, even though I have it, uh, I, I have saved it to Roblox. But anyway. Uh, I'm going to say save us and I'm going to write here walk okay so I have the first position that it's this one and then the sick the, the the other one let me check just the, I am watching the video okay so I guess that's okay so for the walking animation 
I guess we can just rotate these guys a little bit up. Uh, I mean, more open. Probably this one also more open. Just over here. Come over here. Okay, and more open this one. That's it. So this is going to be the starting position. Uh, as I told you, I, I saw like three positions, okay. Uh, this one, and probably this is going to be the same. Control C, Control D. Now we go to the 30th, okay. Remember to select all the parts to have the same part. Okay, Control C, Control C. And uh, I don't know why it's not copying this. I guess it's a problem. Copy selected, Control V. Uh, yes, that now is the same. Now we go to the middle and we're going to make like, uh, as I told you, it's like a tip pose here. We exaggerate the arms, first the arms, then probably the mouth. Oh, sorry. Uh, and in the first position, I'm going to close the mouth. So remember, I made changes to the first position, to the initial position, so I'm going to copy this thing, copy this thing, copy selected, and then I'm going to paste here. Okay, now here, it's going to open the door and raise the arms. Now, we're going to take all the, uh, what is the name of this thing, the lower torso, and we're going to press R. We're going to take it up, 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 and that's it. Probably the head, uh, it's okay. We are going to rotate the head a little bit or up or whatever. And down, because it's going to be looking at the same thing. Okay, and now we are going to adjust the tentacles. Let me check. It is almost like standing. Well, this is awesome. Okay, I guess we are going to go more up. Okay, upper, upper, upper. Okay, so we are going to take him upper part and close. I mean, more. So that's it. And now we need to start rotating this thing. Okay. Let me see. Yes. Yes. That's okay. Because it was not appearing this thing. I need to see if we can see this thing. So first, let's start like uh, moving these legs. Okay. So I guess. They are going to be like moving down, but we need to give like a curve. Remember, let me check if we move this one a little bit up. So we need to make them like curve, a curve, a beautiful curve. Curve. <laughs> Sorry for my English. And then we go over here. Then we just move the main one the first one and let's check this is going to be like like the one that is going to guide us I guess that's okay we need now we took the lower torso and then we just take it him down okay that's okay so I want to see this thing that, that is like jumping a little bit okay so but first we're going to take it here to this position and this one a little bit like that. Okay. I guess that's the original one that it's going to take. So it's going to take like this. Let me check the original. Yeah, it looks like it's like like this. Now let's move it a little bit this. Okay, we have to do the same for the rest of the uh, tentacles, okay? So, I guess I'm going to speed the video right now, or, yes. Like this, like this. This is going to take it on. Like this, like this. Okay, that's it. And also this one, we're going to open it. And then we're going to connect it here. I guess we're going to connect them down. 
opposite slide if they are legs this one also uh, let me check this looks a little bit funny so I'm going to spin it try this now we do the same with this ones we take it up then we take it down down, down. Let me check the other ones. Now I'm going to take them down. This one here. This one here. This one here. This one here. Now we take it down. Uh, more or less, more or less, more or less. Uh, this one here, now this, oh, no, not the pentacle, here, uh, we're going to rotate this thing, this one up, this one down, this one not so down and this one the same now we flip this thing not so down mm -hmm. okay quite 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 okay yeah. oh watch out and this one no this one here this is the position mm. this is not very good but can work okay so I guess that's the middle position and then we just check okay not oh, super awesome but now check here we have this this is going to be like the middle position so let's say that we jump in this part I don't know if it's possible to make it like this exaggerate this part yeah so let's take it in up okay boom 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 it is like jumping okay so it, i just take take him up but we're going to exaggerate these things because it's like jumping so this is like the highest part probably here I don't know if this frame can use it in the last part so probably this uh, the mouth that's okay uh, probably the head I'm going to look for the head a little bit up okay more or less more or less Boom. Boom. we need to move these things to exaggerate this thing so this is just an exaggeration to try to make it look like if he jumped really jumped And we close these things. And then we just check. Okay. We're going to add a frame for all the parts. And we're going to check. Boom. Boom. Okay. So what if we add it to the end? I mean, to this part.
about it here. Let's do I. Now this one. Okay, that looks okay. Probably we can change here this one. You can check style constant cubic. Let's add cubic and let's add easing out. Okay. I guess it's not perfect. I don't know if I remove this, it looks better. Let me remove Ctrl X. Probably. Let's go here some frames and let's just move this thing a little bit up. And that's it. Okay. Now here in the middle, I'm going to add here because it's making like some force. So it's like boom. Yes. So it's just bending the torso a little bit forward. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, here. And here in this position is like straight. Boom. And now when it's falling. Probably the head is also falling. So we go for head. For more? No. I think the head is like the last thing to fall. So it's like this. Ooh. Yes. This jumping thing looks weird. Let me check if I move it over here. It looks better. Not really, it's not. I'm going to move it. I'm going to destroy this one, the jumping thing. And now it looks better. Check. And now I am just adding some frames to improve this thing. The arms are going up. So, do, 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 do. so here, let's just take them a little bit down. Just move these things. Okay. And the other one is here going down, so we make the opposite. Like this. To create a momentum. Ah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Now we can add some in betweens in the tentacles. For example, if the tentacle is going up. To Probably here we can add a little bit of this thing because it's like like this. I check looks more fluid. Now I'm going to add, I'm just adding some in between. Okay, so I am trying to make like looks more natural so now check looks like he's bending now we go for the one that it's in the back part we do the same here in the middle of the first frame and the middle frames and then here oh yeah looks awesome now we do the same for this one we go to the middle one we just move this this one a little bit 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 like this 
let me check if we can improve this one more cute let's exaggerate these things uh, check this one now it's like this uh, no I, I think I over exaggerate this thing so we take this one and that's it Ah, uh, looks pretty awesome now this one I didn't modify this one I am thinking like this thing is making contact with the, gra the ground so that's why I'm moving like these things okay so oh sorry this one's here yeah ah uh, pretty awesome now we have to do the same but in the opposite so I guess in 45 now it's going from here to here so I guess this is like this we are going to go here here okay like this and like this like this check the first leg boom because it's making contact okay so it's making contact it's not like just sleeping or something uh, so that's that's idea that's idea why we did this thing so here probably we touch this one this ooh, oh sorry we take this one then we take this one and then we take this one I'll check oh looks really cool we are almost finishing okay so don't forget to like this video if you enjoy how to animate a kraken okay so this is a very 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 advanced thing nah not very but i mean you need to have some knowledge okay i recommend you watch my previous tutorials about rigging and animation okay to follow this thing Ah, come on it, this looks insane I, I don't know it better than the original because the original it's pretty cool but well these are some things that we are making here so this one a little bit up okay check these tentacles okay and I guess and I guess that's all for this video okay we can now uh, to finish this and to test this character we can Put it inside a starter character. I don't know if this is gonna work, so let's try it, okay? So, well, let's save this animation and let's export this animation. Set priority, blah, blah, blah. Priority is not idle, it's an action because this is just going to move, okay? So, export. And then we are going to call it a crack and walk. Crack and walk, we add some stuff over here we have the kraken walk okay so obviously the jumping it can be just like this animation we don't need to add more okay so probably from here to here so something like that okay so let's make the jumping just using this thing just we are going to recycle frames so we are going to delete these frames uh, delete selected delete selected then we are going to move this one's here and this one's here okay now let's make this like a loop so we're going to select here add keyframes control C or copy selected then we go here and then we just control B and we have a loop so this is like the jumping now we just recycle and we just save uh, expo expo to cracking joe or cracking or whatever 
and that's it we have now we need to copy all of these things okay remember go to roblox then we you go to create look for your animations and then we are going to copy these values okay i'm going to do that okay so well uh, to do that well we saved everything we have this we save the project save the file and we call it cracking 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 i will share this cracking rig okay or model okay without animations obviously because you cannot share animations okay with you guys okay only if we get to one uh i don't know 500 likes okay i will share this model with you okay ready to be animated anyway so well, we have the cracking here okay and we are going to do this we are going to start here play we hit play and we're going to use the, the anime file i click play and then i'm going to copy something from my avatar just to make the to test if this thing is working okay so i have here my avatar and then i just go for my name as a tool and then I'm going to go for animate file that it's inside me. Control C or copy. Copy. We stop the anime the game. We go here. And then we go to starter player. And then we are going to go to starter player scripts. Paste into. And we are going to substitute the values here in. We are going to substitute fall. Uh, what is jump? Jump. Jump, 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 walk, run, and idols. Okay, so the idols are over there. Uh, where are idols? So we're going to paste the values from Roblox, okay? So the animation that we save, okay? So just go to create in Roblox and look for your animations. Now, this guy, I'm going to duplicate this guy, Control C. And I'm going to paste it here in starter player, paste into, and then I'm going to change the name to starter, starter character. That's it. Okay, then just let me go to Roblox. You go to create, and in create, you look for your animations. Don't forget to like this video, guys, about how to animate Kraken in Roblox Studio. Kraken from Piggy, book 2, chapter 7. Okay, well, anyway, so we have here Kraken, and then I copy just the IDs. Copy the ID of the idol. I'm going to paste it here in the two. Idol 1, idol 2. That's it, and then I'm going to paste the walk animation and the run animation and the jump. So jump, 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 jump animation and the fall animation. Probably I'm going to insert this Kraken in my place for some time just for you to try it okay I need to press new skin pro play that's my game okay well I have everything pasted here in this animate file it is not inside the character it is inside here okay now let's check if we have well we have the humanoid I guess let's see if we need to fix something okay so we hit play and hopefully this works maybe we need to adjust some things inside the uh, humanoid especially the hip heights okay here we have this guy it's not running the animations well let's see if we can fix that thing okay start the character we have the animate here no oh, no we don't have the animate there was a mistake sorry sorry Ah, it's a starter character script, not starter player. Don't pay attention to me, guys. Okay, so now we need this thing. Uh, 
and let's see if we need to fix something okay check this guy is like sleeping okay so or sliding i mean so we need to fix the hip height we go here to the hip height and we change to one or to five now five is a lot six Uh, three let me check two so that's a way to check the correct hip high so check here here three two point five two point seven I guess no two point four two point two I guess that's okay. Uh, looks a little bit awkward, okay, for this thing. I don't know if we can fix this with automatic scaling, but no. Well, anyway, it looks good. We need to just adjust this thing, okay, that I was moving. So that means that when we go in the middle frames, we need to go up more. Okay, well, so let's remember this value, 2.1 okay so we can fix this thing and we select just 2.1 in the humanoid of the starter character 2.1 hip high 2.1 automatic scaling uh, we forget about this thing and then we have this okay um uh, we go to the animation animation editor and then we just go to import uh, from roblox we open the walk that it's quite uh, strange so check to, 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 to. here we need to take probably the lower torso up okay well first this one let's take it up right up I, I don't know if this is going to fix it but well here up let me check in the middle looks a little bit good a little bit up a little bit more like this i don't know then we just update we export and then you just select a uh, override uh, uh, an asset and you overwrite and then we just crack and walk again then we just stop we close this thing we go to play and hopefully this fix it now well that's another thing to fix in another video okay because this has been a very long video about how to animate kraken from p book to chapters ah oh, looks better looks better and now well the jumping he needs more jumping power okay you can fix that uh, going to your a starter character and you modify the humanoid and probably jump power 50 oh but well they are not jumping no they are not supposed to jump but well this guy looks pretty cool ding 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 okay looks nice mm -hmm. Keep high, max slope. I guess that's okay. Okay, guys. I guess that's all for this video. My name is Sasa. Okay. And I hope that you enjoyed this video about how to make an animation or crack an animation in Roblox Studio. Using a free model.